uh, Marshawn, could you just talk about uh, back in high school, how you were like going from Delaware to the math in Maryland? Like, what was, what was that like doing that every day? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, my mother, she wanted me to go to math. She thought that was the best choice for me. We woke up at 445 every morning, uh, left the house by like 515, uh, drove two hours there and back. Um, just got to school around like uh, 6, 7, 15, uh, worked with my academic support teacher um, until 8, 15, so soon school started. Then from there, I just had uh, school, practice, and then got home around like 10 o'clock and just started all over again. So we did that you know, yeah. consistently yeah. throughout the four years. Yeah, yeah, what's the team getting in Kaelin Williams? What's the team getting in Kaelin Williams? True leader, true leader, uh, competitive leader, a competitive uh, guy who does not want to lose at anything. He's a, he's a great uh, person to be around and just a great character. There's our number one overall pick. They need a quarterback. They like to take Kaelin Williams. How do you see that fit for him? What do you bring to Chicago? Well, he can bring wherever whoever picks him, he can bring to all he has to the table. You know, we've been seeing this the, the last couple of years. I've been seeing this since high school in Little League because I played with Caleb. Um, so they're getting a great player. A great player, competitor, and just the best player in the draft. Marshawn, what year was Spencer Rattler? Oh, great quarterback. Great quarterback. Great touch. Great person. A lot of there's a lot of narrative going on when he first came to South Carolina. What type of player he was, what type of leader he was. Uh, Spencer Rattler is a great person. Great person, but great player. And I think he's going to excel really well in the league. You're getting a guy that's very elusive, um, who's not going to get taken down, could break many tackles. Um, guards at the contact, that's my, my bread and butter. Um, a guy that can catch the ball. Also a leader. A leader, not mostly vocally, but just by example. Have you been with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I have, yes sir. Pretty much everything. I, I work with all of them both. Talk about your high school journey in these long, long days. How did that shape you? It, it definitely shaped me well and um, allowed me to grow up really early. Um, in ninth grade, I had to travel two hours, uh, be away from my family at some time. So it made me grow up early and it really moved me uh, just to be consistent in uh, time management. It, learned, it helped me learn time management very quickly. Those long bus rides, how did you? Oh, my mother. My mother actually drove me every day. So, yeah, my mother drove me every day. But it was just, at some point, I got used to everything. Start looking out the window, uh, knowing the signs, knowing how far I am, just from just certain things like that. But it's, it's, I got used to it as time went on. It's a sacrifice It definitely is. It definitely is. She, she uh, saw what I can do. She believed in me, and she wanted the best for me. Hey, Marshawn, how did playing at USC prepare you for the NFL, both on and off? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, the coaches are amazing. They help you with everything. Coach Lincoln Riley, Coach Kyle McDonald, they both helped me learn the game of football. Um, not only off the field, but on the field. And it was just super good to have coaches that really moped you and got you ready for this point. So it was the, the best thing I've Considering that high school journey, what have you been uh, that, that, that's funny. Um, I feel like it would be good. Definitely be good. Um, I'm, I'm, I played in that area. I know pretty much a lot about the area just being there for four years. But you know, I'm, I'm, low, low, I'm happy to see whoever picks me. Have you by chance met with them here? I met with pretty much every team. Like almost, and it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I didn't know how to hold the Yes, definitely. Um, DeAndre Swift, I like the way he moves, um, the way he gets in and out of his cuts, um, how good of a runner he is, um, quick, really quick. He breaks tackles, get away from defenders. But the way, uh, also another player is Josh Jacobs. I love the way uh, his size is built. Um, I have similar build, so I like to uh, measure myself between those two. Yes, I have. I met with pretty much everyone. Both. Yes. Yes, I, I've always been that way. I've been able to make the finish myth, but with preparation, preparation. My coaches did a really good job teaching me and helping me know what to do when certain things happen. So I'll definitely get that up to my coaches. Marshall. Marshawn, talk about the role that film study plays in that elusiveness. Would you say that the decisions you're making on your cuts, whether you're taking it inside or heading up the sideline, is more based on what you're seeing on film from linebackers and what their range is, or is it more of an instinctual decision in game? It's a little bit of both. Um, a lot of it is extinction because you never know exactly what they're going to do at that given moment. But, you know, you got to know, have a, a gist of what they're going to do. So just um, making a play off that point. I think the high school opposite, you, Caleb, being the same league. What's your pressure? 
impression of him sort of from afar, and how did that maybe change once you guys came to him? Uh, it was, keela has been the same person since since Little League that a lot of people don't even know. He's been the same player. He's, everything he's been doing now has been the exact thing he's been doing in, in college. But playing with Caleb uh, now in college has been amazing. You know, he's, everything I thought, I played against him, but everything I thought I'd seen, you know, away, I've, I've been able to see up a close person. What was it like to watch him go through everything these last couple of years, win the Heisman this year, a lot of so much intensity from the draft? What was it like to watch this? Yeah, it was great. Great. Not shocked at all. Like I said, I've seen it before. Like, I, I've been through it. I, I played with him, played against him when I was younger, so it was pretty cool just being able to see up close and personal for us. Yeah, I feel like as a running back, you know, you get as the more carries you get, the better you get. Um, but as far as like um, my job is to do with deal with how much carries I get and just do the best I can with those I get. Um, but as far as that, yeah, I think that no matter what, what position you are, if you, if you get more, you get repetitive reps about it with it, you'll be uh, a lot better. Can you talk about the journey just like you were yeah, one of the highest top players in the country, French five star player, all, all the top in the world. I knew that your my career, journey was just different. So I had to find ways to stand out. I had to find ways. Journey to and transfer to be the best all the way across the country. Like, what, what was that? What was that like? Yeah, just adversity. You gotta know how to deal with adversity. It comes with the game. At South Carolina, I thought like that when I got there, that was the best decision I thought for me. Uh, playing at South Carolina, tearing my ACL my freshman year, you can't really plan that. Um, it's something that you just have to go with. But it definitely molded me to be a better player I am today, which pushed me to go to the University of Southern California. And then pretty much going there was just the, the best decision for me. I felt like I was able to um, do what I needed to do and help whatever I needed to do. I met, with, yeah, I met with the Cowboys. Yeah, no, I think I'm great at passing. Um, I met with the Cowboys at the, not here, but at the, at the Super Bowl. Have you told Coach McDonald to pass the Chargers? I have not told him. I have not told him, but I know he's he's probably looking. What type of running back do you want to be known as at the NFL level? A person that's uh, very consistent, I want to be a consistent back, but also the same thing I did in college. I want to be able to just show what I can do, um, break tackles, um, yards after contact. What would a defender say is the toughest thing about going against him? How hard it is to, to grab me. So just, just being able to move. Um, a lot of people say you can't tackle me in the phone booth. Uh, and I believe that. Um, just being able to uh, work on that and it's been really good for me. Last night, yes, sir. Have you had any of the chef Taj Washington's cooking? I have, actually, I have. Taj is a, a great cooker. He's he's the he's the best on the team. I'm, I'm pretty good myself, but, but Taj is Taj is pretty good. How did playing for Lincoln Riley help develop your game? Help develop my game a lot. Just being used in different ways, having me, um, you know, uh, catch the ball effectively out the backfield, having me running different run concepts, it helped me a lot, and it really uh, just made my 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 game a, a lot wider. Yes, of course. Uh, I've been working with uh, Martin Gibson. He's been my uh, running back trainer since high school. I've been working with him forever. Also, like throughout Edsos, I've been working with Edsos, but I've been working with um, his name is 300. He's a, a running back coach who does like every special movement as well. Who's the guy going back to USC that we're not talking about right now, but a year from now, Ross Johnson? Maybe two years from now, Zach Rye Branch. I mean, he's a, a specimen. He's going to be first round, I think. He's, he's a great player, a really good player, really fast. Um, played early, like as a freshman. He had really significant reps. He's going to be a really good player. How early did you know yeah, yeah, this guy? Kind of first day. First day. As soon as I seen him uh, catch the ball, I knew he was going to be really good. He's the toughest to guy you saw in practice. To put his nose in there. Toughest guy I saw in practice every day. I will say a lot of great players. For me, Caleb Bullock. I'll say Caleb Bullock. Uh, he, he's a great, he's very versatile, can tackle you, can fit you up, um, can run pretty fast. So just, I think that's a really good player. At the senior bowl, I said you're the best running back in this draft class. Tell me why I'm right. So tell you why you're right. I mean, I think I could be put anywhere on the field. You know, I feel like I'm a really good running back. I can bring tackles. I'm, I'm very elusive, um, and I'm just very coachable. I, mean, I feel like I can uh, do everything that anything that any coach asks me to do. So I, I don't definitely agree with that. Um,
We're actually in the same agency, so um, I, I haven't known him for long. Like, not, I haven't known him a lot, but I've heard some great things about him. And your name has no connection to that. No, not at all. My, my mother's name is Nashawn. My dad's name is Mar, Marshawn, so that's where I got it from. From a work ethic standpoint, from a See, my favorite college moment? I think he was the heart and soul of our team. My favorite college moment was, honestly, my, my I'll say coming into college uh, at South Carolina. i say that that was my favorite college moment, being from a small state like Delaware. Uh, having the opportunity to be able to just be on that that pedestal was pretty cool. This is a difference? It depends on the year. I mean, the SEC has been really good uh, the past years, but the Pac-12 was the, was the conference this year. So I feel like... Um, it just, just depends on the year. Any formal meetings? Formal meetings? Yes. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Marshall. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, I, I do got to think about that. I talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. All the time. <laughs> All the time. Every time he wears his, uh, his Gonzaga shorts or something, I always like, bro, you got to take those off. <laughs> But yeah, other than that, yeah, we talk about yeah, it all the time. Love just kept growing and growing. You said everyone is this where the Seahawks it just changed my whole entire life. Everyone, yes. 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 The Seahawks don't have their coaches here, so I've just yes. been curious. No, I, so, I, so, so throughout the meetings, I've met with, with people through life. Um, here and at the Senior Bowl. Marshawn, how do you want to flash out there? I never knew if I was going to get there. How do you want to flash out there on the field? Yes, I just want to show how well I can move at my size. You know, being 5'9", being 217, being a, a, a compact back. I just want to show that I can move how loose I am on the field. Um, just showing how well I can run, um, how well I can catch, um, how well I can get in out of my cuts. That's my biggest thing. Marshawn, you, you have a teammate, uh, Michael Jackson, who's transferred to Georgia. What kind of uh, skill sets does he have? What can he bring to that team? Everything. Uh, he's very quiet. So I think we, he's a silent killer. He doesn't say much. Does not say much at all. I've, ever, I've heard him say like we get like close to him. You see a little bit more, but he's a silent killer. He's a really, really good player. Very coachable. I think he'll do really good at Georgia. Speaking of Joseph Smith and Jacobs, is that right? Sort of. I, I, I definitely bring my own thing to the table. What's your thing? What, what separates you from everybody else? Show up every day at five Just the way I can move, the way I can end on my cuts. I'm not being able to, like I said, I, I feel like I can't uh, get touched in this phone booth. I feel like I'm very, very elusive. Say that again? I can't get touched in the phone booth. I think, I think I'm really uh, really quick and really explosive. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh yes, yeah, sir. Definitely, I, I can do all that. That's my uh, the main goal I want to show. Also, just catching. Catching is the main thing. It's part of the game now, and I, I really think I can do that really effectively. And what was it like playing with a guy like Caleb Williams, right, as your quarterback? How did that help you maybe progress as the season went along, being catching the football and kind of moving, you know, and, and, and being that pass catching? Helped a lot. Having a quarterback that can pass the ball really effectively actually helps out the running back a lot because now we're giving. A lot of like a lot more pass plays and a lot more running backs are getting more pass plays as well. So we're getting rounds and everything. So it helped us out a lot. Last question. Last question right here, Stacy. Go ahead. Stacey. Last question. Because he doesn't settle for anything. I mean, he wants to be the best in everything. He does. He wants to. Uh, if it's anything, chewing bubble gum, or just something like that. He, he's the, he wants to be the best at everything. He's super competitive, great leader, and he doesn't expect nothing from but the best from everyone around him. Of course. Thanks, Marshall. Appreciate it. Go ahead and take that with you.